A refinement of the step voltage test, then, is the ramped voltage test. And the principal difference here is that instead of increasing the test voltage in discrete steps, as we've just seen, with the ramp test, the voltage is increased at a steady rate throughout the range of the selected voltage. The default is 1,000 volts per minute, but again, this is adjustable, so the operator can go to the setup menu and adjust the rate of voltage rise and to the selected test voltage and begin. And at this point, the operator is now essentially done other than for observation for the duration of the test. The tester does everything automatically. So what it's doing now is gradually increasing the voltage at a steady rate up to the selected limit. Of course, there's too many data points collected in this test to have everything on the display at one time. So at the conclusion of the test, the uh, included software will download all the data points and graph it for you. And so the value of the test then is you get a curve that shows the change in resistance with voltage rise at a steady rate across the full sweep of the range. And you can do a number of things for this. You can look for anomalies on the graph itself. You can store previous traces done with the same piece of equipment. And when you're doing maintenance testing, you have a, a comparative base there to look at. And also the IEEE standard on motor testing shows a number of uh, typical traces that indicate various types of problems and you can compare your trace to those. So the ramp voltage test is very sophisticated and gives the operator some additional valuable information that you can't get from the other tests. It's a new test mode that has only recently been included in the Megaline and is available on the MIT 1025.